Inside this box is what I think is already the most talked about club of 2019 and potentially the most talked about club of 2020. Let's do it and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Um, this is to just do the unboxing. Second of all, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. Because on this channel, I bring you guys golf related content every single day. Hopefully to help you raise your game. Generally to help you lower your handicap, but mainly just to get you enjoying golf loads more. In today's video, I think this is the most talked about club of 2019 and potentially will be the most talked about club 2020 because it's getting that way now isn't it end of october Oof. as you can see we're at a beautiful huddersfield golf club today and the clubhouse is looking spectacular with the ivy that changes color with the seasons and now this is open let's see what it is oh there's two so as you can see this is a callaway club and as i said earlier there are two of them love a good packing list let's open one first odyssey stroke lab but which one is it we all know that odyssey stroke lab has been around a while but this is the odyssey stroke lab 10. look familiar and i'm assuming this must be the odyssey stroke lab bird of prey that looks cool so guys, we're going to leave the Bird of Prey for another video. I will do a full review on that. This video is about the Odyssey Stroke Lab 10 and how good does this thing look? Now, there's a little bit of an elephant in the room. It looks similar to another putter that is out there. It looks very similar to the TaylorMade Spider. Let's just get on the course and test it, shall we? So the brand new Odyssey Stroke Lab number 10 putter from Callaway. And as I said earlier, you may well have seen this before. And what I like about this, obviously it looks just like a tailor-made spider. Love the tailor-made spider, what a putter, great putter used by many tour players, many amateurs, many high handicappers, many low handicappers. It is used by a lot of golfers. Now one thing Callaway aren't doing with this is shying away from the fact that yes, it looks very similar to a tailor-made spider putter. I watched a podcast or listened to a podcast yesterday from Callaway and Sean Toulon, who is head of Odyssey Golf, and he was the guy who actually designed the putter. In the podcast, he said, I used to work for the guys down the road. I'm assuming he can't say I used to work for TaylorMade. So he's taken a lot of his nows from that into the Odyssey number 10. And what they are claiming is they have improved it. So it has not only the stroke lab shaft, where obviously weight's taken from the middle of the shaft, put into the head, put into the grip, and that is supposed to make it a lot easier for distance control. We also have two 10 gram weights in the back of the putter, and Callaway do say that these will be adjustable, so packages will be available to change these, make them heavier, make them lighter, to help suit your putting stroke. Another piece of technology in the Odyssey Stroke Lab 10 is we have the Micro Hinge Star Insert. This is a brand new insert for Odyssey. It hasn't been in any putters before, and it is designed to offer the same roll tendencies as the Micro Hinge Insert in previous Stroke Lab putters, but feel a little bit firmer, a little bit more clicky off the face and provide a little bit more feedback. Guys, what do we think? I want you to hit those comments below. What do we make? What are our initial thoughts of the Odyssey Stroke Lab 10 putter? Does it look too much like the Spider? Are you pleased that they brought something out that looks similar to the Spider and got a few more technological advances in there? I think we've got to have a go of it, haven't we? And you see, one of the big points for me is obviously the title of this video is this is one of the most talked about golf clubs of 2019, maybe into 2020. And so many people are citing plagiarism, they're citing it's copied, they're citing this is basically a tailor-made spider putter. First putt and it definitely feels louder off the face. Now you see one tendency that hasn't been lost in this putter is the ability for great distance control. For me the stroke lab shafts really do give you that, I really really enjoy, in fact, oh, let's take that one off, you forget when you forget something. I always really enjoy using the stroke lab putters because I do find that it does help me with distance control and that is something which I struggle with generally and I have worked on for a very long time but the weighting in this does definitely help that even when they don't go in.
that helps as well really solid over the short putts right okay so let's go find another green there's 18 of them here at Huddersfield so we should be okay and let's talk some more about not only the tech it would help if I was in frame let's talk some more not only about the tech but about what people are saying about this putter you see, I do find that in the golf world, there's almost a bit of a bandwagon that people can jump on straight away. And, and noticeably on Twitter, on Instagram, so many people have piled into this putter saying it's basically a spider. It's basically copied tailor-made and, and all this and that. But what we have to remember is the Callaway Truvis ball and the tailor-made TP5 Pix ball and tailor-made high-toe wedge and the PM grind by Callaway. All these things are great ideas. They're fantastic ideas. I think it'd be a huge shame if one brand would say, nope, that's my idea, that's our idea, no one else is using it, no one else is having it. Because then, like, say, a lot of people have brand allegiances, don't they? Alliances. For some, some reason, people will buy into one brand and one brand only. I'm, partic I'm particularly not like that. As you'll see, my bag is pretty full of different brands, different makes, different shapes, different all sorts. Because I believe that variety is the spice of life. Anyway. So I'm not really buying the idea that no one's going to buy this putter because they think it's just a copy of the spider, especially because it's designed by the same person who did design the spider, Sean Toulon. So how can you say it's a copy, really? Now, the big story behind both this Stroke Lad number 10 and the Bird of Prey, which I'm going to review separately in a different video, is super high MOI. So much so, it says it on the head there. Super high MOI. And you see, that's all to do with forgiveness. That's all to do with gearing of the head. It's all to do with the weighting of the putter. The weighting is spread around around the outside of the head to allow much more forgiveness. Much like the Odyssey XEO 2 ball that me and Chris reviewed not long ago, calling it the most forgiving putter ever, which it potentially could be. Until now, yeah. By the way, how fast are these greens? This is nearly November. Oh, got to take the hats off to Ben and the team here at HGC. I wanted those balls to finish here and the middle of the green. Now, another fact that Callaway are stating with these putters is that as soon as the number 10 came out, they went to number one on all worldwide tours, in usage that is. That's a bold claim, and I'm not going to say they're going to claim it if it hasn't happened, so that's pretty impressive. Players such as Phil Mickelson have started testing these putters and it really wouldn't surprise me if in 2020 we saw a lot of these oh, we saw a lot of these in tour players bags they feel very very stable they sit wonderfully although for me I must admit for what I'm working on with my putting coach at the minute getting the ball more central taking it a little bit squarer back the shape of it really helps me it would help if I aimed the putter as well The huge thick white line that runs straight through the middle of the crown of this putter is very, very confidence inspiring, I suppose you'd say, especially for people like me who do like to line the ball up and really visualize a really good alignment into the hole. And it just screams take me back square and release me square. Flag out, James, out. I guess one of the only real criticisms I can think of for this putter is, where's it been? Why wasn't it released at the same time as the other Odyssey stroke lags to give people the chance of maybe getting fitted into the putter? It comes down to it, doesn't it? It comes down to the marketing aspect again that all brands are doing. I know some brands released drivers a little bit later this year, as opposed to when they were normally released drivers and that threw a lot of people I just think this is maybe something that brands could pre-warn customers with. They could say, here is the brand new Stroke Lab range. We go from one to seven or one to eight. I can't remember how many are actually in that standard range. One to nine, because this is number 10. So that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? But they could definitely say there is a number 10 coming. There is a bird of prey coming. Maybe hang on to your hats if you are wanting to get fitted. But then that would be an absolute marketing nightmare, wouldn't it? So I guess I see why they don't do that. Answering your own questions today. Guys, hit those comments below. Who here is using an Odyssey Stroke Lab putter? Are you enjoying it? What feedback would you get from it? Oh, this rolls so good, it really does. What number are you using? What length are you using? Where are you fitted into it? Because that's something which, oh, that's got to be an all day. Ah, no. 
because that's got to be something which Odyssey are trying to push more and more into putter fittings. Make sure you get the right length for yourself, make sure you get the right head shape for yourself, even make sure you get the right grip for yourself. There are numerous grips available in the Stroke Lab number 10 and in the Stroke Lab Bird of Prey, so make sure you do get the correct one for you because it will make quite a big difference. I know Chris is really looking forward to getting his hands on these and testing them because he he loves putters more than most people would love loved ones. It's a real weird way of putting it. If he watches this, he'll know. He will, he will probably comment below, and if he does, I'll pin it. But, yeah, he, he really likes putters. Visually, I've got to say, obviously, I use the Spider X, so it looks as good as anything that I've really seen. I love the bold white line. Come on, let's make one. Got to be. Got to be. Hear it, listen. No, missed. And you see, again, this is a huge tray of the Stroke Lab, which I saw last time I tested it. And I mentioned it before in this video as well. Distance control. That for me is absolutely invaluable to know that you can have putts like this for par, no problem after going for a birdie putt and you're not going to walk off looking silly because that's happened to me a lot, believe it or not, I can look silly at times. So I guess in a nutshell, I really like this putter. I really like how honest and open Callaway have been about it, especially in the podcast. I will link that actually in this video somewhere because it's a really interesting listen and interesting watch because it's also a video if you do enjoy golf tech, if you do enjoy Callaway stuff, Odyssey stuff. I absolutely love the visuals of this putter, love the colours of it, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. James, honestly. I love how the bottom of it looks like a rib cage as well. That looks really cool to me and it's all, this isn't just for looks obviously, it's to help the MOI, it's to help it be more forgiving. It does seem to do that. I have been putting pretty well with it today out here. It's the first time out with it, first time I've seen it. And I am pleasantly surprised it could definitely, definitely work its way, wrestle its way into my bag at some point. That's a bold statement as well, because I've been really enjoying the TaylorMade Spider X, really enjoying it. But the Stroke Lab does add just that extra element, I feel. It seems to almost just swing itself. Go on then. Oh. I just don't have to think about it at all. There must be. Got one. Yes. Let's finish on two out of three, because two out of three ain't bad. And that's the second stupid musical pun we've had in the last minute. Never again. All day. Gotta be. Walk it in. Never walk it in. So guys, there you go. That is the brand new Super MOI, Super Forgiving, Super, well, pretty much everything put by Odyssey. And I really like it. I think for a roundup, don't worry, I'm well aware that we've rounded this video up two or three times now. Like it, could possibly go in the bag. Love the feel of it. So the new Micro Hinge Star technology, I can't imagine it's much different than the standard Micro Hinge technology, but it does offer that more kind of solid feel, not even solid feel, but more firmer feel off the face. It sounds completely different to the other Stroke Labs which I enjoy, it gives me that little bit more feedback. The shape of it is absolutely perfect for what I would want. It seems to stroke itself. You saw there, I made a couple of putts, missed a couple of putts, that is always gonna happen. There is still yet to be a putter out there which holds every single putt, which is obvious, but bear that in mind. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Hit the comments below as well. What do you think of the brand new Odyssey Stroke Lab number 10 putter? Guys, leave a like if you enjoyed that content. And as always, I very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow.